Hello, I'm Chicken Boy R Us. And this is Mega Smarty Pants. And we, we are Chicken, Chicken Pants, Pants R Us. Today, we are going to tra train some of you new guys that haven't played KI and are sitting there and don't know how to use the characters properly. Mm. So, get back, relax, and enjoy the show. Yep. Yeah, put me on human so I can get my butt beat. Yeah, yeah, you can't handle this. You can't handle this. Okay. So the reason why we're doing practice mode is you can't really lose a lot of health. And obviously, my friend just get, getting carried away, trying to waste some time so we can't train right away. Okay, fine. I'll put my hands up. My hands are up. Okay. So, obviously you guys, you know how to f push buttons and do attacks. But what... What is the proper moves that you want to use against your character and all the other stuff? We'll get to that later. So, first is obviously pushing... Now, we have Xbox One controllers. We do not have uh, those game mouse, whatever you call those, game pads. Wow, you can use the... Wow, I accidentally kicked him because I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, no. So, obviously there's the back dash, forward dash. How you do that? You push forward twice on your D-pad on the left. Or, same thing with your right. Not all characters have a forward and back dash. They don't? Or, nope. Huh. So, or you can use your joystick with... If you're on this side, that's forward twice and back twice okay those were easy basic movements next is of course there's X X is your lightest and fastest attack the you can get a few combos in there and then Y is your medium and they're all they're all different they're not always the same so up close and you can go ahead and do T-Gen combo with the different types. Okay, so there's his... What are you pushing? Why? Heavy. Okay. See, he does a different attack. Yeah, so they all do different stuff. So, okay, so stop. Okay, so here's my medium. It's the same... Or my light, I mean. It's always the same. Next is my my medium. Why, why did my character take out his blade with medium that far away? Well, I'll tell you why. Because he probably doesn't have enough room to pull out his sword. And also you're getting further, further out. So here's my heavy. So now he's getting further and then further and now I can pull out my sword. Go ahead and do your heavies. Yep. Alright. Obviously, it's fast, and you can build on combos. Right now. His his kicks are just slow. <laughs> yeah, they're just nothing. But his punches are fast, bro. Yeah. So for TJ combo, you want to be more about uh, hands standing. However, you can use the feet for advantage. Yep. Okay. So next is medium. You start kicking down where uh, their legs are if you're really close and kick them out more then you start kicking them in the ch ch uh, chest so go ahead do yours it's a right it's B you moved on to medium so for hold on do you do that all the time no I need you oh, okay so really close to TJ combo is kneeing okay so do your fire one I did, yeah, it's kicking in the face. So it's a roundhouse kick. One thing I forgot to mention is there's also your low punches. So, of course, that's medium. Or that's light, I mean. That's light, that's uh, medium, and that's heavy. Now, when you're down, like, when you're ducking like this, it'll always be the same. So now we can move on to uh, medium kicks. Wait, no, we already did medium kicks. Blocking. Yeah. Um, so that's light kick. Do yours. Yeah. Do no. your light kick. Is that as fast? Okay. And then here's medium kick. It's pushing B. 
Yeah, I am. And then heavy, you always trip them. Is that true? Yep. But it's always a different type of trip. With TJ combos, he kicks you away so you can uh, do some of his heavy stuff and yeah, get on see, you. Yeah, so he can do that, stuff like yep. that. So now, um, there's jumping attacks. So you can jump up and you can cross them up. That, it's jumping, now how did I do that? It's very simple, you jump up and you immediately push your right bumper. Another way you can do it is you can do it, you can do other moves by using your left bumper because your left bumper can be very handy as well because it's all the punching buttons. The left trigger is all kicking buttons all at once. Which will also help with ultra, ultra combos as well. Yep. Okay, so moving on to blocking. So, he's going to attack me with whatever he wants to decide to. Okay, go ahead and do that again. Like, whoa, how did you stop that heavy kick? Well, it's very obvious. If he's attacking low, you want to back up just like this. Can I just mention for a minute, your hands are not allowed to go through my knees again. Oh, you mean like this? Stop <laughs> it! It's unnatural! <laughs> Get away! So, no, uh, I'm going to no. that. If that might complain... My, few people might complain about that. You might want to fix that. Oh yeah, and like standard, if you're crouching, you can't block upward attacks. Oh yeah, I guess I did forget some stuff. So there's other different variations of attacks. So that was my heavy. See, for jumping over and doing the sword, the whatever you, the way out of the sword, jumping over and hitting him is the best cross up to getting somebody from behind because it'll trick them of thinking that you're going to attack them from front the kick for Jago however is better if you're like far out if you're really far out there so right you pushing right trigger for your heavy and you'll from you so it's like stay away and then there's of course medium. Yeah. And, and then light is knee or always be knee. Yeah, this game is a lot of just combinations of buttons. Even it really is a game based on a lot of combos and stuff. Yeah. This is medium. Oh. Oh, always. That's you gotta admit that is pretty cool pulling out your sword in the air like that. But that. All characters are different, but they intentionally, they all have the same type of setup. So for TJ Combo's uh, heavy kick, like he was doing, he kicks you down in a heavy version. It's like the trip, but he has a better trip by jumping up and kicking you in the face. That's not a heavy kick. That's a heavy Or you're having problems with people that are shooting fireballs at you repeat. Anyway, be just as fast as they are. Very simple. Um, if you're on the right side, you want your hand to go, you want your left thumb on the joystick going clockwise repeatedly until you pull a fireball out. Oh yeah, and blocking is basically moving back. Like, just generally speaking, blocking is moving back. And ducking and moving back. Well, For low attacks, yeah. But yeah, see, I block this. I'm wondering blocking. if you can block it while you're ducking. Yeah, I think you can. Yeah, so any projectiles, you can block it any, any way you want. So it's pretty. So that's pretty simple of how to do fireballs. And if you don't know how to do the shadow one, it's very simple. You push any two punching buttons. Okay, maybe. Oh, yep. Okay, you can push any two fire. Uh, any two heavy attack buttons to activate it. Yeah, this game is just a lot of um, combination of buttons and movements, moving forward, back, and up. 
one thing Blake does a lot, um, Chicken Boy RS does a lot, is he just kind of twirls his um, his left joystick around. Yep, that's how I get my combo. So I don't do. I I break the rule book. I don't try to try to take shortcuts and activate my combos the the, the harder way. Which is using your deep pad or trying to do it the right way. Or on a game pad or something like that. I take shortcuts and I just move my hands in a circle repeatedly until it comes out. So are there any other basics you can think of that we um, go This over? should be part one. So we'll cut it off right here. Because that was all. Yeah. Okay, so. So that that's some of the basics. Um. We'll come back at you guys with another one if you like this video for sure. Um, you know, um, you know, like, subscribe, and all that, and um, we'll see you guys next time. See you later.